Welcome to the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio overview of the Hotkeys widget. The Hotkeys widget is represented in the widget bar at the bottom of the Wide Orbit screen by a blue icon with little white squares on it and the label Hotkeys. Think of the Hotkeys widget as your personal go-to library of elements that you use often or that might be specific to your show, airshift, sporting event, whatever. At the top of the widget are the Insert, Edit, Index, and Scroll buttons. Use the scroll buttons to flip through the existing hotkey pages. Press the Index button to open a screen displaying the list of current hotkey pages. While in the Index screen, select a hotkey page to open it. Ultimately, when you press a hotkey, you want it to play. Otherwise, if you need to change an existing hotkey page or create a new one, you need to place the widget into edit mode. To create a new hotkey page, while on the index screen, press the edit button. The button flashes red to show that you are in edit mode, and on the index screen, a new page button will appear. Pressing this button opens a pop-up asking you to title the new hotkey page. When you're done, click the green check mark to save the title of the new hotkey page, and you will now see a button for it in the index screen. Press the edit button again to exit edit mode and select your new hotkey page. The new blank page opens in the hotkey widget with the words empty page in the middle of it. Now you'll want to add some media assets to this blank canvas of a hotkey page. Place the hotkey widget back into edit mode. The edit button flashes red again. Open the library widget, if it's not already visible, by clicking on the red library button in the widget bar at the bottom of the screen. Perform a search in the library widget for the media asset you wish to add to your hotkey page and select it. The tile turns blue and a selected asset message will display at the top of the screen. Return to the hotkey widget. You will now see a large crop circle in the middle of the page. Click inside this crop circle and you will now have one big giant hotkey on your hotkey page. To add additional assets to your hotkey page, go back to the library widget and search for another audio file. After you have selected this new asset and returned to the hotkey widget, you will notice that there are now five crop circles on the page. Clicking inside the middle circle will replace the existing hotkey with the new audio file. Clicking on the top or bottom or sides will create a new row or column depending on where you click. You can now continue this process until you have completed your new hotkey page. Once you have all the tiles on the hotkey page you wish, you can press the edit button again to exit edit mode and save your page or you can edit each hotkey to personalize your page. While in edit mode, double click on a hotkey. A pop-up screen appears displaying the settings of that hotkey. Under the labels tab, there are four fields with which you can change the text information displayed on your hotkey. This only affects the text on your hotkey. It will not change the metadata for the media asset in the library. The Action tab allows you to change the media asset or the functionality of the selected hotkey. Under Play Media Asset, the currently chosen audio file is displayed. You can manually enter a different category and asset ID to change which audio file is assigned to this hotkey. Rather than playing an audio file, you can program this button to automatically jump to a different hotkey page 
by selecting the Jump to Another Page option and then selecting the hotkey page you want to jump to from the select list. Or, you can assign an existing workflow to the hotkey by selecting that option and selecting an existing workflow from the list. The Style tab allows you to change the size of the font, the color of the font, and the color of the button. When you have completed changing the settings for your hotkey, press the green check mark. You can also rearrange the buttons on your page by clicking once on a hotkey and then clicking on another hotkey with which you would like to switch positions. When you have completed making this hotkey page your own, press the edit button again to save and exit edit mode. There's no limit to the amount of hockey pages you can have, so make one for your favorite beds, another for your favorite drops or actualities, maybe even one full of your favorite go-to imaging or promos. The idea is to have your go-to library that is also an audio player so that you can easily play your favorite audio files. By design, when you press a hotkey, the media asset plays. An animation and a countdown timer will appear on the hotkey to show that it's playing and counting down until the end of the file. Additionally, the audio output number assigned to the hotkey widget can also be displayed on the playing hotkey. If you press the playing hotkey again, the audio fades out and stops. You can also insert any of your hotkeys from a page directly into the stack, playlist, or player widgets by placing the hotkeys widget into insert mode. Press the insert button and it starts flashing red. Locate the hotkey you wish to insert and click on it once. The insert icons will appear in the stack, playlist, and player widgets. Navigate to the widget you wish to insert the hotkey into and click on the position where you want it to go. The hotkey will now be in that widget at that position. Notice that if you had changed the text information displayed on the hotkey, once you've inserted it into another widget, it displays with its original database information. If you need to delete a hotkey or delete an entire hotkey page, you have to place the hotkeys widget into edit mode. To delete a hotkey from a hotkey page, place the hotkeys widget in edit mode. Select the red delete button with the white trash can in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Red trash can icons will appear on all of your hotkeys. Select the hotkey you wish to delete and it will disappear from the widget. To delete an entire hotkey page, place the hotkey widget in edit mode. Press the index button to show the current list of hotkey pages. Select the red delete button with the white trash can in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Press the button for the hotkey page you wish to delete. You will receive a pop-up asking if you're really sure you want to delete this hotkey page. Pressing the green Accept button confirms the page deletion and removes it from the database. Once you have deleted what you want to delete, exit Delete mode by pressing the red trash can icon again and press the Edit button to take the hotkey widget out of Edit mode to save the changes. We hope you enjoyed this overview of the hotkey widget for Wide Orbit Automation for Radio. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please email us at afrvideos at wideorbit.com.